Welcome back, I'm Tim Cash, and we're coming up on our second hour at San Diego Comic-Con. It's great, uh, thank you for being here. If you're on the ground with us at Comic-Con and you happen to be a Marvel fan in costume, make sure you stop by the IMD boat at 1.45 p.m. Something very special is happening. The Russo brothers and a very special guest will be handing out free ice cream, nothing better than free ice cream, and posing for a Super Avengers selfie. Now, uh, for those of you not here in San Diego, there's no need for FOMO. We've got more amazing interviews coming your way. So we just saw a clip of the trailer and joining me now are the creators of that exciting new board game called Saint Noir. Please welcome Nolan Bushnell and Zay Ortiz. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the boat. Hey. Hey, honestly, I, I told you right before, I'm such a big gamer, so this is a real pleasure to meet you both. Uh, let's talk about Saint Noir. What is Saint Noir? Saint Noir is a, a mediated Alexa murder mystery board game. So this is the first time ever we're going to have a board game that's voice controlled. Yeah, it's voice controlled. Uh, it's basically we're using voice actors all throughout this game. There's, um, you know, 13 uh, voice actors inside this game. Uh, you only hear all there this There are 13 atmosphere. inside here? Yeah, it, right inside. No, inside <laughs> this thing? Um, out of the speaker itself. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing, I'll be able to, I use Alexa every morning, every night, all the time, but I use her for like, what's the weather like? Play me some music, things like that. This is going to be an actual board game that fits with Alexa. Paired with it, yes, yeah. So you need your Alexa, so Alexa basically is your smart speaker, your atmosphere, your, your movie theater, as you will. And the board game is basically your device of re memory retention and you're basically playing it with the board game so and it's like a think of a movie but now you've got your eyes closed okay. so now you have all the environment they say what's the what's the resolution i'm said it's infinite because it's right. only limited by your imagination and we do the tricks and things like when you interview the crusty cop or the ditzy bartender you know you see them and they're fun and it's really uh it, you know it, it it's it's a different experience um this is a different experience for me uh nolan you uh you created the first ever video game i ever played which was pong you were the founder of atari and Chuck E. Cheese, which by the way, I've actually never ever been to yet, but I'm gonna go with you for the free coupons at some point. Um, you know, that's- but, but what have I done for you lately? You've done so much for me. Uh, tell me something, it, you know, you've accomplished so much, you've done so much, you've given back to us so much. What was something that you found challenging to overcome with Saint Noir? I think the biggest problem is naturalness. Go on. When you have an NPC, that is AI driven, you, you can't destroy the permission to believe. You need to be able to believe that this is the crusty sheriff. And if he says something a little bit off, it, it just evaporates in a second. So a lot of authenticity is key. Yeah. Same with movies. Very so. Yeah, very much so. I mean, everything in this game is unique, even from the jazz music underneath it. That's playing the atmosphere. You uh, both initially set yourself a goal with your company is to talk about what video games would be like in 10 years, right? So this is kind of the moment where- Games, I, not yeah, just game, video games. Exactly, games, games yeah. in general. Blow, us, blow our mind for a second. Let us in on like the inner conversations that you guys have late night with whatever you guys do to relax. Uh, tell us, what are, video, what are games gonna look like in 25 years? 50 different things, but one that always blows people's mind Think about self-driving cars. Yeah. You don't need to be able to look outside, so your windshield and all the windows can actually be screens. And so now, when you're driving to work, you can be driving down an, an old western town, uh, ancient Egypt, uh, Mars in 2055, you know. So all of a sudden, your car becomes a virtual reality pot, uh, capsule that uh, moves through. Now, is that a gaming platform? Yeah, that's I mean, really it makes cool. things fun, and that's what games are all about. Give me another one, blow my mind. Yeah, well, for me, right now, it's all about bringing families together, because one of the reasons why we decided to make this game is because I saw everyone on their screens just walking around, and I was like, well, how can you bring people back to the table again? And this was one of those opportunities where I love movies, 
I love the sound, I love visuals. I come from VFX and graphics, but this was different. This was something that I saw in a different light, different medium, and it was challenging. Never done it before. We were just experimenting. Well, you know, there's also what we call Einstein guilt. Okay. And Einstein always felt guilty about opening the door for the atomic bomb. Well, I feel a little bit guilty for doing video games that brought everybody sort of spending hours playing with millions of people in the it's basement. It's all your fault, you know, basically. It's all my fault. It's all your fault. So I felt that I had to do a mea culpa and bring the family back together again. And, and that was a little bit of what Chuck E. Cheese was supposed to be. Now we want to do it on steroids. My parents used to play hide and seek with my Atari Lynx. They would hide it, I would find it, and play it again and get in a lot of trouble. Uh, you know, movies are it's so important to us here at IMDb. We've watched movies in one way our entire lives. It's us sitting down, watching a big screen. How's that gonna change? Blow my mind. Uh, well, well I, I help kind of design and animate a lot of things on the silver screen, and I was always focused on peer to peer. Like, what is the first person going to see in that attraction. Now it's totally different. Now I'm looking at it as, how do I put all these people together in one instance? So for me, what I want to do is really multi-train this out. Really kind of expansion so we all kind of sink in. So... Yeah, there's also the whole area of geofencing where Pokemon, Pokemon Go was an interesting experiment in AR, but it was a crappy game. But that doesn't mean that there aren't going to be some great games that pull people out into the thither. I mean, I live in Santa Monica, and literally, during the height of Pokemon Go, you could not get on the pier. People just running around looking just for something. Just looking yeah. for stuff. So I think that geofencing, geo uh, games where position is important, that's going to be bigger too. Uh, listen. I really was looking forward to this. You guys are not disappointed. I'm so happy I got to meet you both. Uh, Zay and Nolan, thank you so much for being here. Thank and you thank you for bringing us Satan Mar as well.